this complicated mess of connections, that's basically just your XT60. I've just got a, a, a power comp tapping off here, uh, a 5 amp BEC to power all the servos. Uh, now, I've just got all my servo wires coming in here, plugging into this little box, all the power and grounds connected coming out there via the uh, BEC, so all the servos are powered from this BEC. All the signal wires now coming up here, uh, and I've just connected all of those signal wires, sort of one, two, three there, and one there. So it just makes it a bit easier to plug them into the signal wires on the on the flight control board. Uh, so that one's the ESC that just goes into so ESC goes into Q1. Now this lead is aileron and elevator signal wires, and I've just got that sort of plugged in across like that. And this one is the rudder signal wire, plugs into the end. It's just sort of a, a neater way of plugging them in like that. Flight control board is just, I just had that sitting there. I sort of had it jammed in, which was good actually, because I could actually tilt the flight control board up and down as I needed. Receiver goes there, that's the only connection you need to the receiver, which is very nice indeed. Uh, and the GPS just sits about here somewhere. Now. Someone noted that I didn't have the GPS um, mounted exactly facing forward. I don't know if that's important or not, actually. I sort of had that like that. The plane was flying, flying fine. Now, apparently it's a good, good idea to keep this as far away from ESCs and things like that. I've actually got my ESC just under there, so that probably wasn't the best spot for it. But anyway, it's where it was, and it worked OK. And I just sort of taped them down like that. So that's basically the setup now. I'll connect it up, make sure we're actually working. So I haven't really worked out the flashing lights here, uh, but I do know that when you get a red flashing light, the GPS has attained a home position and you can fly as usual. Okay, so it looks like it goes red when you arm the motor. Not going to get throttle control until we get a GPS lock. All right, so I've taken it outside, and if you can see that red flashing light there, that means that we've acquired enough satellites to be able to fly in GPS modes. We should have... There we go, we've got control. So that's acro mode, a little bit of uh, stabilisation. That's horizon mode, and you probably can't see it, but the aileron's coming up when the wing lifts up. That's self-level mode, so if I turn it upside down, that's going to try like crazy to get me back up the right way again. That's working well. Okay, that would be ready to fly. So there you go, that's basically how I set up my Bixler uh, with, Air, uh, with the Paris Sirius Air 3 flight control board and INAV. What I'm going to do next is mount some of the awesome carbon bird gear onto my Skyhunter and FX79, set them up properly with uh, the beautiful KST digital servos and do some long range FPV. So thanks again to Multiwecopter for providing the flight control board uh, and the inspiration to get into INAV and the awesome carbon bird uh, products, which you'll see soon. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.